Hey and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and this small screencast what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some effects, jQuery effects I'm talking about. Yep. So jQuery is the number one JavaScript library. Okay. Yep. I said it. It is the number one. There is no contender to jQuery. It's number one. And what I'm going to show you is a fade in fade out effect. Uh, so I already have a button over here. And if I run the app, it looks something like this. Click it, nothing happens. That's pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is this, there's a div over here, which says this is a message. And you can see that right now it says display none. Background color is yellow. What I want to do is when I click on a button message, when I click on this button, it should show me the div right over here but it should only show me for a certain period of time and then it should automatically hide it. Now, you might be wondering, hey, um, when and where should I use this kind of effect? Well, one of, the great of, uh, one of the great places where you can embed this effect, where you can use this effect, is when you are inserting some data, you are persisting, you are deleting, and you want some sort of a notification giving to the client, giving to the user. So you say, insert customer, and here, goes the pop-up right over here says customer has been inserted and then bam it's gone okay so the user will have that view will have that kind of like an interaction uh, because of that message and they will see the message okay customer has been inserted okay and uh, it will disappear automatically so I think this is a very cool effect in Rails application I think they have a flash feature I think it's called a flash feature that will just display you a certain message a custom message and then it will you know it will disappear after a certain time so let's do that um, jQuery I have already added jQuery right over here you can download it from the jQuery website and I'm going to say okay that the document dot ready meaning when the document is loaded the DOM tree is built so do this thing and let me go and get the ID for as you can see from my voice, I'm a little bit high. I'm just kidding, I'm not high. I am a high on coding and a high on jQuery because it's so cool. So here we go. So I'm just gonna say fade in. And this is milliseconds. So 2000 milliseconds means two seconds. Good. And I'm gonna say over here, fade out. So it's fading in and I'm fading it out. All right. Uh, well, I'm actually doing it wrong because I have to do a click event over here. So when the button is click, I have to do something over here and the next step is I will get this div message here we go I'm gonna say fade in all right and then fade out there we go let's uh, refresh the page let's see what happens so I'm gonna say show message you can see the message coming and it disappeared it's pretty cool right message came and message gone there's one problem of course of course this works but you have to make it like a jQuery add-on jQuery plugin it's pretty easy it's not hard what you do is you extend the jQuery.fn class jQuery.function and then you will name your function uh, fade in fade out I'm going to say function and let's do something over here okay so I would say that we will take a speed over here and I, I would say this dot fade in whatever speed I'm just gonna put speed okay and the second parameter is actually a callback so you can also do it over here so the second parameter represents that when the fade in is completed, what to do next? Well, when the fade in is completed, what do you, you will do is you will fire another function at the same speed, and you are going to perform what a fade out. Okay. That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know if I need this or it will be automatically visible. We can try it out. Um, and let's go over here. And I am going to say fade in, 
copy it out, which is our custom custom function. So let's refresh it. And it says show message. So the message appears and the message is gone really fast. Okay? Message appears and bam, it's gone. So uh, what are we doing over here? Let me see if I don't have to provide this. Let's see that. Load the page, show message, and you can see it gradually decreases. Okay, so when you say it compares, and it's gradually gone. So now what we have done is that we have a fade in fade out function instead of the fade in dot fade out, and this is our custom plugin. Okay, this is our custom plugin for the jQuery library. And then you can actually see how easy it is to make these kind of things, right? And that's pretty much it. You can use this in your code. It's much more portable than using the fade in, fade out. If you want any changes, so let's say you fade in, you apply some styles or do anything like crazy. All you need to do is to go to the fade in, fade out function and change it. That's it. You don't have to go uh, on each occurrence of the fade in dot fade out and do the stuff manually, right? So that's, there we go. That's your first jQuery plugin and you saw it's very easy to make. Hey, I want to do, I want to go one more place and you know where I'm going, right? Yep, I'm going on high on coding. Articles, videos, podcast, anything you like, you can email me at adamsharp at gmail.com. I create videos as long as there is a coffee in my hand and you know who makes the best coffee? Well, you know, Starbucks, I like Starbucks, but you can really arrange for my coffee by going to the donation page. There's a one-time donation and there's a monthly donation. And the donation amount is like, this is like pay $2 monthly, or if you donate like really like $2, that's good. $5, $10, it's like two coffees. I'll be really, really alert, really like, you know, high on caffeine and then I can make more videos, you know? So. Open your heart, show me some love, donate. And that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video and I hope you like jQuery because I really love it. I think this is like the best thing uh, for the client side world, especially for the JavaScript world, the inclusion of jQuery and how easily we can create these kind of effects without going into so much trouble or details. Thank you very much. Stay tuned on High Encoding for more videos.